Hi guys, remember my big GNC haul the other day and an employee came and I had to leave? Well, I'm back at that same dumpster. And it's a few days later. That's what I pulled out so far. And I'm getting the rest of this that I missed. I knew there was still some more here. And um, so I'm getting it. And it is those same products in the same spot. They Their garbage hasn't been dumped yet. And um, so my haul then was um, over $600 where I had totaled it up with my calculator. Oops. And um, and I had a, over a thousand dollars that day once I, um, sorry, I'm really having problems with my grabber. Once I totaled everything that I had got that one day. Oh, lovely. I'm sorry, I'm just having a hard time with um, picking stuff up. Let me show you what that was. Picking stuff up, my grabber keeps sticking. <laughs> And trying to record it for you at the same time it's just kind of difficult so um, I'm gonna just put you down and finish this so that I can get it out of here before this store opens I just wanted to show you that I did have a thousand dollar day but there's a lot more now have a good day okay guys this is the rest of that haul these were the things that were in the bottom of the dumpster, so they really need to be rinsed off because um, it rained and it's kind of dumpster juice down there. But, um, so haven't seen this one. Um, haven't seen that one. And then these are all new. Didn't get any of these last time. All of these um, chews. This is new. Um, a, a lot of different um, flavors of these bars that we didn't have before. Um, so I've just got to check what all these supplements are and see how many of them we need. Most of these are high testosterone, which my husband's almost 60. It's probably a really good thing. Um, yeah. And I tried these energy drinks down here yesterday and they were pretty good and I will probably have one this morning since I'm kind of tired. We're out early trying to get um, to the stores before they open so that we don't have any problems. Alright, catch you the next one. Okay, this one right here is empty except for one thing. I've got my little helper here to help with it. Let's see if it's worth it. It's got a broken handle right at the top, which I believe can be fixed. That would go like that. Um, yeah, I think that can be fixed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, stick that in the car, shall we? Yeah, I think we can fix that. We are at our very first Ulta. I came here the other day, it was completely empty. I don't know if there's anything in here, but we are getting the rake. The employees have just been out here. They were all standing around. Um, so they left and hopefully they won't be back in time for us to look and we'll let you know if we find anything. Okay, so this is what we got from Ulta. We didn't find any suit boxes or any makeup or anything like that. And we didn't notice until we were halfway through digging that there is a no trespassing sign on the dumpster. Of course, we were there pretty early and I don't think the store was open yet, but there were employees there. I don't know if they were setting up or whatever. But anyway, um, we got quite a few gift cards for me to check out. And then we got these banners. And I've just got them kind of spread out here on the bed for you to see. Um, they're closed in at the side, open at the top and bottom. 
first I thought they were a bag. So don't know what they actually are used for in the store because I've never been into an Ulta. Um, but anyway, um, I've seen where um, Steph from St Stephen Steph has taken these and like recovered a chair on her vanity and I thought that was a cute idea. Um, they might make uh, nice pillowcases or just sew the bottom and, and use it as a big fabric bag. There's lots of things that we could do with these cloths. Um, let me know what you think. Do you have any ideas? Have you picked them up and used them before? Okay, we're at a different Aldi than what we normally are at. And we got an entire box full of lettuce, which we put in this tote that we found earlier. And this 80 gallon deck box and it says it's damaged but we'll check it out and then we found this one piece that looks like it goes to it um, that was just laying in the dumpster so I don't know we'll take it home and check it out hi guys sorry for the glare here so this is what we pulled out of the GNC today now if you missed my last video um, it's entitled something like uh, five stores over a thousand dollars worth of products. So basically what happened is I was in this dumpster at GNC. An employee showed up to work and was going in the back door. I saw her and to avoid a confrontation I just got in my car and left. Um, I contemplated going back later to, to finish my haul and I didn't. I just said you know what I've got enough and I just left. Well, I was back in that town today before stores opened. And so I went back to that dumpster and I moved some bags around and this is what I found. This is part of that first haul. I just wasn't able to get it at that time. It's rained a couple times. Things were really dirty, really stinky. The ride home was not pleasant. It's about half an hour away. <laughs> We were in the rain with the windows down, um, <laughs> hand sanitizer on our hands with our hand over our nose just to avoid the smell for some of these things. Now, not all of them were down in the sludge, um, just a few of the things, but it was enough just to make it uncomfortable for us. So basically, um, to add to that, um, you will want to watch that first haul just so you see what all I got. Um, and I'll, I'll link that somehow to this video. Um, I found one bottle underneath my seat that I had missed in that first tally. So that first tally changed just a little bit. So the first tally from, I think it was like two or three days ago, $648.01. Okay. Now add all of this to it. Today's haul seven hundred and forty one dollars and fifty nine cents now these are the sale prices these are not the original white prices that they started at this is there they're about to expire we're going to mark them down for quick sale i'm assuming because i did find white original stickers on a lot of the products some of them these um sale stickers went right over top okay so for the grand total of $1,389.60. And there's quite a few products that I didn't get in that first haul. And that's why I said go ahead and watch that one too. Because you'll see a lot of different products. Now what I didn't get last time were these chews. Which are also good for eye health. For glare function. Which I have a real problem with my night driving. So I'm going to enjoy those. My husband has macular degeneration and has been prescribed these ingredients. So um, I found two more bottles of this in addition to the bottle that I found the last haul that gives him three. And I believe there's three months worth um, in one of these bottles. That is a true find. These were originally $49.99 and then were marked down to the $30.99 for their sale price. Um, that's something that we have to buy that now I don't have to for quite some time and I'm just over the moon ecstatic. So there are um, male testosterone, uh, te testosterone sorry, <laughs> uh, 
prostate health. Grapefruit, I know that's really good to take, but I can't remember why. There's calcium. There's some other supplement there that I'm not quite sure what it is. There's stuff for memory. There's stuff for fat loss, which I need <laughs> and may actually take. There's men workout, um, basically enhance your workout and build lean muscle, which I don't know that anyone in my family needs that. Um, biotin, which is for your um, skin, healthy skin, nails and hair, which is really good. Um, these green ones are for memory. Um, not sure. I think this is weight loss and, you know, workout pills as well. Um, there's a couple of things that I'm familiar with, a couple of things that I'm not, and I'll have to look up their function. I know what that one's for. Y'all, we don't need that. <laughs> but there it is. So anybody interested in any of these things, shoot me a little message down below. Well, let's see if we can't make a deal. Um, these drinks, I actually tried one and um, actually enjoyed them. Lots of different flavors in these bars. Um, the guys, I think, are going to enjoy those. 20 grams of protein. That will help my husband through the day in his job. He's on his feet all day walking. So, um, yeah, he does anywhere from 5 to 25 miles a day. So really liking um generally we are completely plant-based and would have never bought one that had egg whites in it i generally avoid that but um yeah you know my husband will take them to work just because they're free and my son is not vegan or plant-based in any way so he's not real picky about that so a lot of this stuff we will get good use out of and some of it we just don't need so like i said let me know anything in this video or the last video that you're interested in. And if it's something that we didn't want to keep or that we have excess of, we will certainly make a deal with you. Okay, have a good day, guys. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, comment. It helps me stay in the algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I realize by looking at my analytics that... About 75% of the people watching my channel are not subscribed. However, that is mostly, I hope, to do with my breast cancer awareness video. That sucker's up to around 5,000 views. And most of that is, well, 100% of that is, is uh, men from other countries. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that, yeah, go ahead and look at that video. That was a good one. Um, I think I actually finally did have one woman watch it and comment, which was just made my day. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be sexist and or sexy in any way, but you know, men see go without a bra and they just get all Twitter pated. All right. Have a good day.